reminiscent of the days when knights were bold and were the protectors of maidens in distress. Then they carried them away on stately horses. Today, the would-be knights bundle them into a two-seater, a crank with a clank, and then they're off down this Oxford street, leaving the scurvy knave far behind. From iron suits, we go to iron furniture, made from the ordinary electric light conduit tubing. Strong, attractive, cheap, and incidentally, giving father a chance to display his originality. Mr. Collier, the ingenious designer, says almost any piece of furniture is possible, and it can be painted to suit the surroundings. You are looking at a crane, the tallest electric floating crane in the world. It can lift 150 tons and cruise along the river to the ship that is taking the load overseas. Its great height of 250 feet makes it an impressive feature of the river. Once at the ship's side, the loading becomes a simple matter to this mammoth of the London docks. Now to the air, but not for long, because this plane is coming down to a country inn near Fenny Stratford that has its own landing ground. Very handy when you're up on high and get that little tickling in the throat. You can just drop in for, for a quick one. Of course, we all know what one sometimes means. This caller, however, is soon off again to seek new pastures, or perhaps bruised. 